Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to go ahead and build an ocean material. Now before we begin, let's just have a quick look at this setup here. So I have this plane and this plane is just a highly tessellated um, plane here. So if I go ahead and open up this in the assets um, content viewer and we go ahead and choose wireframe, you can just see that this plane has a lot of detail and that is because we're going to actually create waves that go along this surface and we need this extra detail to do so. So with that said, let's just go ahead and close this and let's start by creating the material. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create the function for the material. So to do that, we're going to right click and we're going to go down to materials and textures and we want to go ahead and choose this option that says material functions. So we click this and we're going to give this name. We're going to call this water wave directions. And uh, once we've done that, let's double click and open this up. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and bring in some add nodes. So I'm going to press the A key and left click. And I just want to bring three of those in. And I'm going to plug these in. So I'm going to plug the A and B inputs just like so. And then once we're done, I'm going to go ahead and plug this A input into the output result. After that, we want to go ahead and bring in some uh, texture coordinates. So I'm just going to press and hold the T key and we want four of these. So I'm just going to bring four of these in. Just like, just like this. And we want to go ahead and add these texture coordinates together. So we we'll plug these in. There we go. Now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and bring in some panels. So I'm going to press and hold the P key and left click and this will bring in some panels. Again, we're going to bring in four panels and we're going to go ahead and wire these up to the UVs just like this. And then once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and set the values for these panels. So for the first one, we're going to go with 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. For the second one, we're actually going to invert that. So we're going to go minus 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5 for the third one we're going to go ahead and choose minus 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and for the last one we're just going to go ahead and and uh, swap those values around so in this case we're going to go with uh, 0 0.5 and then minus 0 0.5 so what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and bring in some uh, vector twos. So I'm going to press and hold the two key and left click. And we're just going to bring in three of these. And we're going to go ahead and set these values in just a moment. Before we set those values, let's bring in some add nodes. So I'm just going to, just going to create some space here. Let's go ahead and select all these actually and move these over. There we go. And let's go ahead and add an add and an add right here. And we want to add the B values to these uh, vector twos. Okay. So once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and set the first vector two to, let's see, 0 0.25 by 0.64. The second one, let's see, we'll go with, uh, Point, let's see, we've got 0 0.85 by 0 0.34. I think that'll be good. And the last one we'll go with uh, 0 0.29 by 0 0.122. So these are just random values, really. And it's just to make sure that the uh, actual waves don't go back to its original position. So what we need to do is we need to go, go ahead and hook these add nodes up. So we're going to plug these into the coordinates. Just like so. And then we need to go ahead and plug in these, um, the A inputs of the, of the add here. So in order to do that, let's just go over here and bring in an input texture map. Input texture map. And we want to go ahead and set this to a vector two. And then we want to go ahead and uh, bring in a UV tile here. So all I do here is just press and hold the U key and left click. And we can drag that in here. 
and uh, that those are fine and then we want to go ahead and plug the uh, input vectors into the A oops uh, let's go ahead and do that just uh, like this and we can also go ahead and plug this up into the uh, coordinates over here so we are almost finished with this function let's just uh, make a little space like this we just have a few more things we have to create here so we need to go ahead and bring in a time node so let's type in time just like this and uh, we actually want to multiply this multiply this by an input time so let's type in so i'm going to type in uh, function input that's what we need and we're going to go ahead and set this to uh oops, the scalar parameter 2 oh not scalar parameter 2 we need this to be actually just a scalar parameter and we're just going to go ahead and set the x to 1 and we can go ahead and multiply this just like that and uh, let's just make a little space then we're going to go ahead and plug all these into the time nodes or into all the time uh, inputs and then we're almost finished with this function here so let's go ahead and plug all this in and the last thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and bring in a text uh, an object texture so let's bring this in texture object and then we need to bring that into an input texture so so let's go to the inputs and uh, we need to go ahead and change this from a vector 3 down to a texture 2D and we can plug this in and once we've done that we can go ahead and plug this into all the texture uh, inputs here and then we would have uh, then we have finished the function so once we've done that um, we now have our water now it looks as if this is a little too fast so let's go ahead and uh, fix that let's go ahead and look at these panners maybe I've incorrectly place these in here with a speed so let's just uh, check these so yeah it's probably a little fast so what we need to do is decrease these by an extra zero so let's add an extra zero here and go minus 0 0.05 and uh, let's do the same for all of these so we're going to go to minus 0 0.05 to 0 0.05 and I think I just changed this one yep and we used to do the same over here so minus 0 0.05 minus 0 0.05 and you can see we're getting a much slower effect and it's what we want so it's got 0 0.05 and then 0 0.05 so there we go so this has yielded a much better result so you can actually see what's going on here so uh now we have finished our function i'm going to stop the video here and i will see you in the second part of this uh material creation um tutorial so thank you for watching if you like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time